Sean, uh, Cobra 5000 here. I am doing my first YouTube video. Um, so let me know how it goes. I'm going to be teaching you guys and showing you guys how to make free ringtones. Very, very simple. Um, all you need to do, you first need to open up your web browser. Um, and then type in Audacity. Now there's going to be four links that pop up. The first four all go to the same exact site. I have Mac, so I'm going to click on Mac. Um, and you have all the downloads right here. Um, for Windows, you just click on the tab on the left, and you have your window downloads right there. Once that is downloaded, you go. You have to download this also. It's called the Lame MP3 Encoder. This is what allows you to send out the ringtones that you make in the program to your phone. You need this, or you cannot do anything with the program. Well, you can do stuff with the program. You just can't send it ringtones to yourself, so it'd be kind of pointless. All right. So once you have that all. Um, set up and installed you are going to open up audacity it's going to look like this open and then you have this it's basically like an mp3 mixer you can edit tracks you can put effects in them you can do all this different stuff i just use it for the sole purpose of making ringtones so once you have this um this application up and running you go to itunes or whatever you use and you select any song you want. Now for PCs, you can just drag like right out of there into Audacity and I, I believe it just imports it because I, I used to use it and it's usually pretty easy. But for Mac, you have to take a couple more steps. But if you have a Mac, you just run all these steps. should be the same exact thing for iTunes. You go to the music, go to iTunes, go to the iTunes media, go to the music again, and then you have all of your artists. Um, for this, let's just use Kesha for and TikTok for the ringtone today. Um, you open it, you drag it into the application, and then that it's going to be importing the file. It's going to look something like this. Um, you once you have this up, you can select whatever part of the song you want. You have the time up here. And once you click, you can drag, and the gray bar shows you what your selection is. And once you stop, you can see what how long your selection is. So, 56 seconds. That would be. That's not 56 seconds, but whatever. Um, that's a really long ringtone. You really don't need anything that long. But I'm gonna do for this one. Let's just do like the about the first 15 seconds or so. Um, 16 seconds. Now you go to once you have that. You go to File, Export Selection as MP3. Do not export as MP3. That, that exports the entire song, and you won't be able to send that to your phone. And that'd be ridiculous. But you export selections MP3. Now, for a Mac, I don't know why it does this. For PC, it doesn't. But when you, like, delete it, it well, at first it moves. It, it does, it's not deleting anything, don't worry. But when you start typing, it starts... Uh, Playing. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, it, it just starts playing when you start typing. I don't know why it does that. It's very weird, but it it works. So that's all I'm worried about. Um, once you once it exports out, you go to your email. Now what you're gonna do? You type in your phone number. So area code. And then you do at Verizon, VZWPix.com. I am not sure of what AT&T, Sprint, or anyone else has, or like what their address is for sending a picture message. But um, I'll go look that up after this and put it, try, try putting in the description. Otherwise, you guys can just search it on Google. It should be right, right up there. Once you have your that in, you go to Attach Files. Um, and then... I'm just going to go to today's downloads, go down, and then there's the mp3. Now, once you're done, you attach files. I don't use Yahoo, I use Google, but this is just for this purpose. And see, there is attached, 501 kilobytes, pretty small file. And then once you're done, you send it. You send it to your phone. And 
I've already sent it to my phone in advance, so you don't have to wait for it. But it takes about 30 seconds, usually, maybe a minute. Really not that long at all. But after this is after that's done, you're basically done with your computer, and it's going to be sent to your phone. Um, you go to your phone, hit the message, and then... And you guys can hear that, so it's obviously sent to the phone. And you're going to go to your options menu, for Verizon at least. You go to down to save as ringtone, and there's also a save as sound. If you, when, you, when you save as a ringtone, you can rename it, and then it puts in your ringtone folder, and you have your ringtone. Saving as a sound, you can't use it as a ringtone, but you can send it to like your friends and stuff if they want to have a ringtone. So you can make ringtones for people, actually, and send it to them. Um... So once you're saved as a ringtone, it's in your folder, and you're basically all set. Um, yeah, but this process is, it's very simple, very easy. Um, don't, you only need to, you need to install Audacity, which takes like four seconds, and then you need to set up a layman coder, which depending, like if you do it right, takes like five minutes. But once you have it all set up, it's a very fast process. You select your, whatever part of a song you want, and then you just go to your email, send it to your phone. Um, and you're all set. It's very easy. It's free. It's safe. Um, yeah, and I use it all the time. So if you guys have any questions, just leave it down in the comment section. Um, but other than that, I am done. So just let me know how I did my first video. Just leave some comments, maybe suggestions. You also can let me know if you guys want any videos done because I'd be willing to do start doing YouTube videos and I don't know but um yeah thanks a lot for watching and to hear back from you guys Your name